What's good? What's good? I am, as the title suggests, back in the van. Uh, I had just been dog sitting for the last week, so if you saw some really epic scenery behind me, not, not my place. I was dog sitting. Uh, this is my place. But I try to keep it, you know, somewhat organized. I got a temporary solar solution, so I bought, used a smaller panel, so it's not as uh, powerful, but it's working right now, so I'm good. Not stressed about that. I have the old panel. I might get a replacement. I might just, who knows, but I'm, I'm way less stressed about that. Um, but, oh my gosh, speaking of stress, the other day when I was at the community event, the outreach event, I got, I started getting notifications on my phone from Spark saying, uh, you know, my appeal to be reactivated was denied. And I'm like, I'd never appealed because I was never deactivated. Um, and I was starting to freak out like what's going on because currently Spark is my primary source of income. I make most of my money doing Spark deliveries. I do other gig apps. Um, you know, I'm trying to break into the dog watching market uh in a few weeks i'm going to be going to do some construction work for a few days uh but sparks my, my my main squeeze right now so i was stressing uh turns out it was just you know some glitch glitches a lot of drivers dealt with it it was not just me and all is square i'm back on the platform uh but it's been slow it's been slow i'm hoping it'll pick back up um you know i got bills we all got bills. I want land. A lot of us want land. Um, I did update my resume. I have an updated resume. So, uh, and I applied for one job that was like a good paying, you know, $85,000 a year job, a production manager, at, you know, a local warehouse, something that I could do. Um, very similar to what I was doing at Boeing. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, I literally just applied yesterday and it's the weekend, so I won't know. And I need to apply for more jobs, but um, having a good resume makes me feel more confident about putting it out there. So that's a good feeling. Um, and sales, um, solar. I'm passionate about solar. So I might look at, you know, getting into solar sales. I just hate sales because of the uh, perverse incentive of commission-based jobs. So if you need to make a sale to eat, you're going to, you know, it, it, I, I, that's why I hate sales jobs. That's primarily why. But if it's a product I'm passionate enough about and I always have the backup of gig apps if I'm in a pinch, I think I can make it work. Um, hopefully the gig apps, gig apps, excuse me, keep me for a while. But um, yeah, also, uh, if you see this and you know of like a good industry or a good direction I could try to go, hit me up because uh, I'm tired of living in my van. Uh, this last week really showed me that I, I miss having my own space and being able to cook steak. And um, so yeah, I am back in the van for now. Oh, one more quick note actually. Uh, I This is the second time I refinanced the van the second time in less than a year, which mm, you might be thinking to yourself, that seems excessive, but no, because my original loan was for like 20K at 24% interest. That's insane. Like a $540 payment. I refinanced after I made a few big principal payments and refinanced it or at, when it was at like uh, 17 or 18. Uh, and I got the payment down to 440 and 19% APR. I refinanced again uh, with one of my credit card companies. So I love that it's integrated there. My payment now is $301 a month. My interest rate is 11%. Oh my gosh, that's like not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. So in this economy, uh, to make progress, I've sacrificed and I'm at a good place now. So it's like, okay. How can I get back into a normal nine to five job and then do the gig apps on the weekend? Uh, that's kind of my, th but also where? Because Washington winters fucking suck. Uh, also, you know, I talked with Steven, man, that was a good chat. I want to see if he'll let me upload it to my channel, but if for now, go to his channel on Rumble, the BG cast, a big thing he and I agree on, or I think we agree on is that 
there will be major balkanization so like a breaking up of the united states there will be pockets where we have smart cities and then there will be pockets where we have like free zones like anarchist zones i firmly believe that and so it's going to be really interesting and then there's going to be gray areas in between the two but i'm thinking to myself like man i should move somewhere that i would be with more like-minded people. Um, so I'm trying to find a place. I love sunshine. I love sunshine. I just could lie on a rock all day. I'm a fucking lizard. I am a lizard person, Alex Jones. Come at me. But I love humanity. I'm like Kame from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Kame and Piccolo getting way off subject. Dragon Ball Z is dope. Anyways, let me wrap this up. Um, back in the van. Would love to move back into my own space, but I need a job. I need a place where I can like cultivate community. That's the big thing. Where can I cultivate community? Uh, because Washington is full of fucking retards. I have compassion for you, but also you're retarded. All right, I'm gonna end it there. Much love y'all.